You're watching EVH and Gear TV, brought to you by Stewart Travel Guitars. See the incredible stowaway travel guitar at stewartguitars.com. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. Here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH artist Eric Broadbent. I have had a whole lack in hand. How's everybody doing? Welcome to EVH and Gear TV. We are live Wednesday evening, I think it is. 
And I'm using monitors tonight, set of headphones, so I can actually get my nice vibe going on. I think it's going good so, so far. Let's go say hi to a whole bunch of people in the chat. A little bit of jamming tonight, talking about some shows. We're going to answer some mailbag questions that come in through the website, which I haven't done in a very, very long time. Went through the website today and noticed a few messages haven't made it through to my email, so I thought we'd go through and grab those and read those on the air, which is cool. Let's go see who is here and say hi. Keith Bass is here. Hello, is there anybody in there? <laughs> Dave Vars Guitars is here. Sean Close, Brad Miller. Uh, says, hey folks, hope I can check back in 30 if you're if you're there. JJ's House of Jams. My beautiful Nocturnal Butterfly is here. Mitch Heyman is here. Mitch, great job in the Van Halen. Some of the other jams here tonight, buddy. Doing really, really good. Love that Yamaha software that you're running with your amplifier. Sounded great. Uh, let me see. Mars Man is here. Dave R's Guitars, I mentioned. Let me see here. Uh, Quentin James is here. Hey, kids. Quentin, nice to see you, buddy. Brad Miller, Stephen Nismith. Some of these names I might repeat a couple times. I'm really bad for that. Either I miss somebody or I say their name two or three times. Uh, let me see here. Scott McLean is here. Um, let me see here. Dave Ars, Brad Miller, you're just listening to this today. Nice. Thank you. Listen to some of the Finding Core songs. Charles Green, what's up, people? Nice to see you. Michael Easter, hello from PEI. Hello from Southwestern Ontario. Let me see here. Else we got scrolling down the bottom. Will Varela is here. Hey, I think I know this guy for sure. I think you do. I think I know you as well, too. Keith says sounds good. Uh, let me see here. Let's go down to more towards the bottom. I'm actually getting caught up pretty quick. I feel pretty good about this. Carlos Santon's popping in for a quick second. Nice to have you, even if it's just for a second, uh, Carlo. Appreciate that. I know you're probably doing some grading and some papers and stuff like that. It's getting your end of the school, so I imagine you're getting ready to mark reports and all kinds of stuff like that. Little Hooker Jam is here. You know what? Seems how Little Hooker Jam is here. Why don't we play a stripper song coming up? And that's just no pun intended, but I just saw the word hooker. So I thought maybe we could play some. Uh, we're going to go back into another tuning, and we'll play our song called Fantasy in a second. So I'm going to get that queued up, ready to go. Uh, Einar is here. Einar. I, I always pronounce your name Einar. I think it's Einar. I pronounce your name wrong. I love you. I just forget how to pronounce your name. I think it's Einar. And please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but I really appreciate your, your support. You're always here. Uh, Brian Cote is here. Hey, buddy. Some uh, Helix in the house for you tonight. Brian, you're going to hear us. So you're talking about uh, the uh, Jazz Rivet or the Roland Jazz Chorus amplifier. You're using that in some of your presets. You'll hear that tonight. I've been using that forever in my clean channel of one of my presets. I'll be using that tonight coming up. I don't use it in a, in a dirty amp with a distortion or anything like that, but I do use it for a clean app. Very, very cool. Gary Holt is here. Um, let me see if I missed anybody else. Scroll down a little further. A lot of people saying hi to one another. That's one of the cool things about these things. You know, people just jump in and say hi to everybody else, which is cool, you know, and have conversations. That's what it's all about, meeting new people and having fun. And guitar is just kind of a conduit to get all this started, right? Uh, we'll be talking about several things tonight. For so, those of you just joining now, I'm going to do a little bit of jamming tonight, uh, get in a good, uh, kind of a good jamming mood. I was practicing before uh, we went live here. And I'm going to talk about a couple of upcoming guests that are coming on the show, some fun stuff there, and then reader mailbag, which will be fun as well, too. So, yeah. All right, let's jump over. It seems how we just talked about the, uh, the microphone because I'm cranking my studio monitor i get a much better vibe from my studio monitors when i do my headphones uh scott roos is here nice to see you buddy and scott nice to see you uh, jump into our new helix group as well too that thing's line six helix <laughs> right now in case you think i'm playing something i'm not but we will be here momentarily here comes the stripper song all right here we go <laughs> Oh, 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 
right, so you know what I was doing there? I was struggling. That's one of the first times I've ever struggled with the sound levels here on the show. And I looked down, I'm like, I'm on my lead channel of my preset in Helix. And I was like, what's going on? I've never been this loud for my rhythm parts. And I was trying to balance my levels over on the mix. That's why I started and stopped again. That's what it was. I wasn't paying attention. Now I'm back to rhythm and we're good. So we should, we should have good levels now. So awesome. Uh, I saw Gary Holt jumped in. I'm going to go back and see who else I missed as I jumped in. Guitarak is here. Nice to see you, buddy. I'm talking to you on the phone earlier today. It was nice. It was a brief conversation, but it was nice. Um, and the chat froze. Okay, I got it back. Uh, let's see if I missed anybody else. We'll keep playing a few, t a few tunes until I'm too warm and I can't play anymore. And I'm starting to actually sweat now, so it probably won't be a late, late night jam. R2 is here. R2, R3, locking it is here. Have a beer. I'm going to have a beer right now, too. A cold, I got a cold one right now. It's perspiring, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't often drink on the show, but I'm having a couple pops. All right, let's try So I'm going to drop it down to D. I'm going to play some Runaway. This is always a fun one. This is a real locomotive song. And watch me. Um, I'm going to try to keep my facial expressions to a minimum, but when I hit these Zach Wild harmonics, I can't do it right now because I've, I'm, my volume's down, but you'll see me, I'll give you the nod of approval of like, yes, I'm happy, and I'll shake my head like this if I didn't get it. But when I get them, I feel really, really good. Um, let me see here. T says, hello, I have a camera page from 2016. When I'm playing on, a, on the first fret, my finger hit the high E side of the locking nut. Do you have this problem? Not really. Uh, I guess if I'm now that I'm forcing myself to, I, I can. But I mean, not unless I'm trying to, I really don't do that. But I can see if you're actually physically try there, there can be some sharpness there for sure. Motor City Axman says, hello, folks. So, uh, Daniel Horsley is here as well, too. FNAF is here. It's cool. Nice. All right, let's give this a try. This one is going to be Runaway, a nice, fun, chunky, I call it like a locomotive song. You know, kind of butterfly, share all the links, and subscribe, and all that kind of fun stuff.
I totally forgot I got a, a message from Nocturnal here. I didn't even realize because I'm not using my headphones tonight. I'm using reference monitors for the live broadcast. I normally don't do that. So earlier when I'm strumming my string saying, okay, yeah, yeah, I know you can't hear this, but actually literally you could, and you probably couldn't hear me, so I apologize for that. I'm just used to wearing the headphones, but I'm getting a much better mojo and jam, you know, vibe off my monitor. So that's why I'm doing that tonight. The only bad thing is I got to go over here and you know, mute the, out, the output because I'll be feedbacking like crazy right now. But awesome, awesome. I'm warming up and I'm sweating like crazy. So this is a very, very good thing. I think we'll keep a couple of jams going and we'll talk about some of the shows coming up and we'll go over some uh, mailbag stuff that's come through as well too. Ricky Mies is here. Oh man, I'm sweating pretty good. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. We don't want to let the body temperature cool back down too much. Uh, smash that like. That's Nocturnal saying thank you so very, very much. Ricky Mies, the internet's been working out very perfectly. It's been totally fixed. Our problem has now gone away. Knock on some wood. It's been a blessing. That's why now I can go live anytime I want and not have to worry about problems with internet, which is good, a really good thing because for a while there, I was actually literally nervous about going on the internet because every time I would go to go live, I would have a horrible connection. And it was like almost like putting your hand near the burner of the stove. You're like, ah, is it hot? And you burn yourself, right? Is the stove going to burn me again? That's what it was like with the internet with me for a while. It just really, really sucked. Uh, someone said, this is the tune I want to learn, Quentin James. Okay, that's cool. This is a really cool one. Yeah, right. You know, it's got the, you know, really chunky kind of locomotive feel to it. I like that one a lot. I'll show you that one for sure. Really, uh, really simple. Uh, <laughs> uh, Motor City Action, good evening, Eric. Can you please tell your typical approach to songwriting? Do you find complete writing a song in days, weeks, months, years? That's a very, very good question, and I'll happy to share my thoughts on that. Some of my songs, I still have riffs on my computer from 19... The late 1980s. Now, of course, they weren't on computer back then. They were on cassette and things like that eventually transfer, transferred to computer. Some songs have come to me quickly. Not very often does that happen. Um, usually I come up with a riff. And um, yeah, I'm just getting Nocturnals. Uh, Nocturnals just repeating uh, Motor, City, <laughs> Motor City's question. That's good. She's good, though. She's always on the ball. Um, most of my riffs come to me pretty quickly. One of my favorite songs that I've ever written is a song called Loaded Gun. And the most of that song was written. I had I had the the basically the intro, the verse and the chorus, but the bridge never came to me. It just never came to me. And it took about two years. Well, yeah, probably about two years. It was just one day I was sitting there listening to Audio Slave, and just a progression of Audio Slave hit me. And I went right back to the acoustic guitar, grabbed my acoustic guitar, three chords, played the three chords. And I was like, "There's a bridge for that song. That song is now complete." Took it to the band. They're like, "Whoa, that was the missing little thing." Because we're all trying to come up with a little spot little interlude, whatever, for uh, for a bridge, and it worked. That's uh, so, But it, mostly it all comes around riffs, and I've got so many riffs on the computer. A lot of them are starting to see the light of day now, which is cool. So that's kind of how I approach songwriting. When I was with the band, I would put a whole bunch of riffs down on, on you know either a phone or a mini recorder. I even used to have a Sony mini disc recorder. I'd take those out to the band, show the band guys. And uh, you know, it said we and I'd record them on the on the on the fly, right on right on the uh, right on the floor, right with a ghetto blaster or whatever we would have, just to record those elements, and then go back home and write more passages over them and things like that. And now with the blessings of things like Helix, which I'm using tonight, you know, I could actually, you know, if I may, if I want to come up with a lead for a solo, I could just record the rhythm part and I'm literally loop it with my uh, Helix and not store it forever, but then write my passage over it. Right? I could do something like that. So. Uh, guitar axes, that's a sharp axe. Thank you. This is one of my favorites of Kramer Pacer. I love it uh, dearly. Um, let me see. So you know what? Let's continue on with some of the songs here for a second. And let's let's rock it up a little bit. Let's uh, go back to regular tuning. Okay, no, I'm not going to strum the guitar this time because I don't want to hit your ears. And uh, this can take me a bit getting used to using the reference monitors. Uh, so we're going to try a song called Falls Silent. This one's pretty fast, all right? Pretty fast. Make sure we're in tune. We're pretty close. Good enough. All right. Close only counts in horseshoes, though, right? And hand grenades. Here we go. Give it a try.
That's always a hard one or a fun one to play. Not a hard one, a fun one to play. And I just I got distracted by Quentin James saying man boobs. <laughs> Quentin James and the man boobs. I think that was him. I actually don't even want to even know who said it. I just saw, saw man boobs. Mm. Scott Roos says that passage was just crazy. Thank you. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. North, no, northbound Nova. I picked a great time to join this. He was ripping. Thank you. Thank you. What can I try to play that's fast? Well, not fast because a lot of my stuff isn't super fast. But let, what else can we play that's kind of ass kicking? You know what? Let me see. We can try freaking out. How about we try freaking out? Coffee lovers here, man. Brian, night how he's always here. Nice too, man. Mississippi treasure hunter. All the, all the cool guys, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Thank you so, so very much. Um, oh, good, very good question. I want to address this before we go. Jerome DeJong says, Eric, not sure what ha- if you've explained this already, but what happened to your Chad Husky June 2nd video? That broke my heart. Uh, that day, Sunday afternoon, last Sunday, YouTube was experiencing an outage where no one could log in. Um, you could view you could view videos and stuff like that, but you could not log into YouTube with your account. And Chad was with me. We were like Chad was right on the wire. We were ready to go live, and we just could not log in. Hence, I could not start the broadcast. So we postponed it one hour later to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we still could not go. YouTube hadn't fixed it. They fixed it around five or six. So we are heartbroken, but it's one of those things with technology we had to bump it. So Chad is on basically on almost on call. As soon as we can find a spot for him, which is going to be in the next few days, I hope. Um, I was going to try, I have a show on Sunday. I would have put him on this Sunday's Helix Hour, but I have Sean Halley coming on the show. We'll talk about that in a second. I was going to put Chad there. And so I thought, well, because I have Sean there, I put him on Saturday, but he has a really important graduation function to go to. So we're going to put him in. It's probably going to be a midweek show, and I can see that happening right, right away. But we're we're held victim by you know, technology. We couldn't log into YouTube. So very good question. I'm glad you asked, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to catch you know, the show's ready to go. I just, I just have to hit start broadcast on the day that we pick with Chad. So thank you. I appreciate your support, and even asking about that means that you're interested. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Psych Girly is here. Hi there. Awesome. Lars Guitar is here. Okay, so yeah, we're going to play Freaking Out. All right, I'm going to drop this back down to D, which I already am. I can play it in two different ways, but it's more fun to play in drop D. And soon I'll grab a couple other guitars and we'll play some standard tunings as well, too. All right, so here we go. Freaking Out. I know Nocturnal Butterfly likes this one a lot. And I say this a lot, but we had some new viewers tonight as well, too. Listen very closely at the beginning of this. You'll hear me as I recorded this. I'm in the control room with my PV USA Wolfgang. I've got a 5150 PV out in the in the amp room on full dimed all the way across, running into a Vox, uh, one of the like a basically a Beatles amp, you know, like the big 15 inch uh, speaker JBL in that, it, it kind of a tilt back stand, open back, and my amplifier is on full mic in there. I'm in the control room and I'm yelling into my pickups. Is this thing gonna work? Is this thing on? Something like that. You'll hear me yelling into my pickups at the beginning of this song. So I'll see if you can catch it. All right, here it goes. You might not notice it just through your computer speakers, but if you're listening through your headphones, you'd hear it for sure. It's freaking out nice and fun.
And there you go. Let's jump over to this screen for a second. Come over to this screen. We'll take a break from guitar playing for a bit. And let me see. Did I see anybody else new in the bottom there? I don't think I missed anyone. Okay, I mentioned Scream Girl. And uh, okay, awesome. Good, 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 good stuff. So I'm going to read a few questions that come through the website. And I have, I have to apologize. I normally get, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this is nice. We're getting some nice uh, feedback from Nocturnal here. She's sharing some uh, production notes, which is good. And I don't check my website as much as I should. Uh, and really, at this point now, my website is more of a repository for audio that gets sent off to iTunes. And I really don't use the website as I should. I'm a website developer, and I feel kind of guilty for this because I'm not even using my own website to its real potential. But at the end of the day, you just have to balance your time, and it's one of the things that gets neglected. But I went in the back end of the website today, found a lot of spam, got rid of all that spam. You know, let's, people trying to send me all these kind of uh, pills that will make all kinds of things happen to you and all that kind of stuff, and deleted all those. And, uh, and then I started reading some valid comments and some really nice things. I think I've got about five comments. Some of them are old. Some of them are new. I think I have four, actually. So here we are for the reader mailbag. Um, first question or comment comes in and says, Hey, Eric, love your YouTube channel. I just wanted to shoot you a quick message and let you know, after watching your EVH standard purple burst uh, videos at least 100 times, wow, that's very nice, <laughs> uh, I went and bought one. I have a stealth special, and I got to tell you that even the stock and the standard beats my stealth by a mile. Wow, that's crazy because it technically shouldn't, but... If it does for your ears, more power to you. That's great. Uh, crazy stuff, he says. Uh, you wouldn't think, but it's true. I'm thinking about getting a Zilla Burst. That's one of the new ones that was uh, debuted at NAM. Uh, kind of that green, orangey kind of burst. Very, very cool. Got a friend that has that one. I'm definitely going to take your lead and for sure and get the Futone upgrades. Anyways, just thought I'd share. Thanks for the killer info and helping me find my way to the standard. Take care, Brad C. So thank you, Brad C. That come to the website and I wanted to save these so I didn't miss these. I kind of exported everything from my website so I didn't lose anything in all that spam. Here comes another one. This is um, this is cool. Greetings and salutations from Dallas. I love the episodes regarding the wet, dry, wet with Helix and EVH 5150 in the middle. That's something I was doing quite some time ago last, probably maybe last fall, maybe early winter of 2019. And I'm running my Helix with, you can kind of see in the background, and I, I think I, I read this question earlier, and I think this applies to this question. Um, I've got two power cabs, okay? Two stereo power cabs, and I was running the 5150 right there, dead center. So I, I'll kind of, I won't say too much because maybe this question is going to allude to that. So I'll go back. Greetings and salutations from Dallas. I love the episodes regarding the wet, dry, wet with Helix and EVH 5150 in the middle. Absolutely epic tone regarding the wet effects, left and right, left and wet effects, left and right speakers you're using. You mentioned line six. Would you elaborate on the model? Okay, so I'll stop pause there for a second. And yes, that's the power. Point to it there where that little glowing guitar is. That's a Roger Diodak and uh, uh, Shred Leads uh, guitars. That's my custom Finding Core uh, LED. You can purchase that on my website. Same website we're just talking about that I pay no attention to. Um, that's the Power Cab Plus. They make a power cab and make a power cab plus. The plus has you know various additional things like a LCD screen, all kinds of uh, extra bonuses as well too. So I'm using two of those. It's a 12 inch speaker system, active power system, where it's a FRFR type system, so f uh, flat range full response, or they have speaker modeling in them as well too. I kind of go back and forth on how I use them. For the longest time, I was using them in speaker emulation mode, and I was using what was called like a cream back emulation. It sounded very, very cool. So out of my Helix, I would go, uh, how do they do this now? Left and right outputs, or even XLRs for that matter, XLR out uh, left and XLR out right, I would run to the power cabs, and those would have heavy, heavy wet effects. I would be using reverbs, delays, and my kind of the thing I use all the time, it's become synonymous with me as the pitch to tune where you're kind of throwing your guitar slightly out of tune in the left and then you're doing the opposite of whatever you throw it out of in the right. So if I go down maybe minus seven cents of a tuning on the left, I go positive on the right. OK, and then I have my path being split. So I have maybe a wah pedal, phaser, flanger, chorus if I want an overdrive. And that goes to the 5150 direct directly with that and I had a microphone on that uh, right on the 412 it's a Rode NT1 like one of these guys right here you can kind of see it without the uh, sock on it right one of those guys it's a condenser I had that on the 412 all that was being run to my mixer and if I wanted more dry 
I just bring up my fader on the on the mixer for my 5150. If I wanted more wet, vice versa, you know, I just play with the faders, or whatever. So that was how I did that. So to continue on with uh, this question, would you elaborate on the model? Okay, so I did that. Since you were coming straight out of the Helix, I assume you were they were powered. Yes, they're powered speakers, and they're quite loud. I'm not 100. I should know all the specs on them. Um, I, I, I don't want to quote because I'll be wrong, but you can look them up at line6.com and then go to products and look for power cab. You'll see the specifications on the on them there. Um, and he's saying, my dry signal is going through a 212 loaded with V30s. Thus, I'm, I'm uh, seeking wet effect speakers, recommendations that will complement. There's many, many out there. I mean, I see a lot of people talking about many different brands. Headrush makes some cool speakers. Um, I haven't really tried anything else when it comes to the FR, FR speakers other than the Line 6 stuff. So I'm not a good, I can't say, I've heard people playing them online. They sound good. So go to your guitar center or whatever guitar shop you've got local nearby or mom and pop shop. Try all of them and see whatever suits you because just because what I say sounds good, doesn't mean what you're going to think sounds good, but you want something that's powered and is made for kind of geared for modelers, you know, for the helixes, the campers, head rush. Um, what am I missing? Right. You know, all those things. I know uh, the fractal, all that stuff. Right. So cool. Yeah. So there you go. And I think just one more statement out of that same question. Um, thank you in advance. And I hope you and your family have a safe and happy, relaxing holiday season. So this must have come in around Christmas time. So that's from Greg. Or Drosky. So thank you, Greg. Very nice for the, the message, and I hope that was helpful to you. Um, Keith Pass has asked me, Eric, don't you stream live on Facebook? I do, but not very often. I, YouTube is my com comfort zone, but in the very near future, I will be broadcasting. As you're watching this now, you'll be watching it live on multiple platforms. I'll be restreaming to uh, a lot of different platforms. So you can, I'll kind of catch you. You can catch me wherever you are as opposed to hopefully you can catch me where I am, right? So we'll try to do that. Jason Sedaitis is in the house. Jason, thank you for tuning in, buddy. I'll get back in here in a second because I know you probably won't be here for long. You have a busy, busy schedule as it is. I'll try to give you some tones here as well, too. I'm just going to play some of my uh, older presets. So there's a couple of the ones I like from, from yesteryear or yester week or yester month or whatever And because I, I know he won't be able to make it for long here. And he's got a very busy schedule. I'm very honored to have him here. Uh, let me see how he's how I really did. QSC. Yeah, QSC is another good one for sure. How he's always saying that. And Jason might be able to comment. I know I know Jason is a Line 6 artist and a Yamaha artist, but, I mean, uh, he's very fair when it comes to other recommendations as well. If he's got any suggestions, he can drop them in there. But QSC comes up a lot. Um, I wish I could say more. I just, I'm, I'm inexperienced when it comes to the, you know, re reference monitors. Not, I shouldn't say reference monitors, but FRFR speaker systems. You know, there's, there's a lot out there, right? You just have to play whatever sounds good for you because... You can watch all these demos, and we can say they all sound this way and sound that way, but it's, it's to your ears, you're the judge. We know you're paying with your money, not our money, so it has to sound good for you. Check them out in the music shop. And if you get the opportunity, some of these music shops will let you take something home for the weekend. Try to do that if you can. Rent it out, or, or if they have a good return policy, buy it. You can always return it if it's not for you because sometimes you need that non-pressure in your home and playing with it in your studio, your, you know, your carpeted room and all that kind of stuff, and you'll be able to make the decision. Uh, nice. Okay, continue on. We're going to go back. Um, this is, uh, okay, this is a good question. This is from Fred Siegel. This is one of our regular viewers here. And again, a little bit of an older uh, comment, but it's a really good one. And it's a fair comment, too. Uh, it, it shows, you know, we're here <laughs> again. It's almost like let's let's pick let's Eric pick on Eric's website tonight because I am I'm guilty of it. Um, he says, Eric, hi, Eric. I was looking uh, for your show schedule on your schedule page. It, it, page. it says, click, click each date to open a detailed view description, but I don't <laughs> see any dates. I had tried different browsers thinking that may have been the problem, but still no dates showing. By the way, I'm a new fan and subscriber, and he was at the time. He's a regular now, so uh, mainly to your Helix Hour, but enjoying watching and joining the chats uh, on others as well. Great work. Love your shows, Fred Siegel. So I know I see Fred's name pop up a lot in a lot of our circles. So he's a real supporter of the community. And Fred is 100% right. I used to have an event calendar on the EVH uh, yeardiscussion.com website. I think the link might even be in the description here. Uh, who knows? We're changing a lot of things very, very soon. So who knows if that comes or goes. But I used to have a show calendar. And, you know, to be honest with you, first of all, I feel very, very bad for Fred wasting his time clicking and trying different browsers. That shows support, man, when someone <laughs> tried different browsers to find out what's going on. And not all of our friends and fans are on Facebook and other social media, so I know what they always can't go to those platforms. 
but I tend to populate those now because everyone's on those, right? Everyone's in the grocery store, you know, okay, what's going on on Instagram or Facebook? N not too many people are surfing websites of, you know, at least my website of what's going on with the show. It's always when Facebook. So I got to either start doing that or just pull the events off of there completely. But a very, very fair, constructive uh, criticism from Fred, who I respect, and that's a great question. So probably just going to pull that off of there and maybe put a big graphic, look, click here for Facebook or things like that, and we'll, we'll direct people to what's coming up next. And it gets hard, too, because at the time I put that calendar up, I had one show. I had basically the EVH theme show. Now I have four um, with some changes coming to one of those. Uh, let me see here. Last question. Uh, another regular. This is cool. And it's slightly old as well, too. Um, is uh, But it's really good. It's really good because it's already happened. Uh, he says, Eric, what are the chances of getting Richie Castellano on the Helix Hour? I believe he would be a very interesting and entertaining guest. In case you don't know, Richie is the guitarist for Blue Oyster Cult. Based in New York, he uses Helix for everything. He, I think he make, uses Helix to like plan his itinerary for his day, cook breakfast. I'm just saying that. Um, Helix, everything, studio home and live. Check out his Richie Castellano YouTube channel for more details. He also does the Band Geek on Riotcast. He's also sponsored by Line 6. Thanks, Eric, for the consideration. You don't have to grow back the stash. So that must have been back in the day, well, well, one of the two periods where I shaved off the mustache. He's ended up to grow back. Well, Robert Apple, that's from Bob Apple, or Robert Apple, as we know him from Philadelphia. I've grown it back, and it's here to stay, uh, and we have insurance on it now, so we can't get rid of it. But So there's one, two, three, four comments from the mailbag. Just wanted to say thank you. All very, very, very good. And uh, it goes to show you sometimes, too, constructive criticism coming through the websites like that. It's really nice talking about calendars and things like that and show guests. It's really awesome. I appreciate it, and uh, I can't thank you enough. Um, I saw how we mentioned another speaker. Somebody said something. Where did I go? Uh, QS, maybe I thought saw, I saw something else other than QSC. How he's digging the QSC. Ron Limber is here. We're going to get back to some tunes right away because I know, oh, Gemini, Mission Gemini 2. Why was I not thinking of Mission Gemini 2? Uh, Jason plays, I use Mission uh, Engineering, the expression pedal, which I love to death, absolutely to death. And uh, I'm just getting a text message from my son. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't even want to know what that is. Okay. All right. So, uh, Mom, ask Junior what he just sent me and uh, remind him that, uh, oh, I think I know what that is. That's one of the YouTubers he follows. I wasn't sure what it was at first. It's one of the YouTubers that um, has uh, had a baby. Very, very cool. I know who that is now. It just caught me off guard for a second. It's not a birth photo, but it kind of is. Um, <laughs> so, Mission Gemini 2, for sure. And they're loud from what Jason showed in some of his videos. Extremely loud. Good stuff using that for my wah pedal and expression pedal, I should say, which controls wah. Uh, how he's always says that stash is only two to three days old. And Jason does say Richie Castellano is an awesome, great dude, an amazing player. He really, really is. He really is. Uh, Brad Miller says, can you tell me what I'm missing on the new Helix group? If you're referring to ours, uh, probably nothing really extraordinary. There's nothing special about it, you know, compared to other groups that are out there. But we have started a new Helix group called All Things Line 6 Helix. Uh, Nocturnal Butterfly may or may not have already shared the link. If not, she probably will. Uh, it's just it's just a fun, you know, no kind of like a, uh, no BS kind of, you know, dog eat dog kind of group, whatever. I'm not saying any other groups are like that, but it's just kind of a more pleasant, um, you know, we're going to slap your rulers with a knuckle if you if you don't behave kind of group. But it's meant it's meant to be a fun place. It's all good. Uh, Brian's here saying what's going on. Uh, Quentin James, Diet Water. Let me see here. Did we miss anything else? Well, I probably gave you some pickups clock. I did not mean to do that. I keep forgetting I'm using my reference monitor. Sorry about that. And, oh, Yorkville's is what he's saying. Yes, I have been surprised with how good the Yorkville's I've used sound lately with Helix. So I'll have to check that out. And, Howie, I'm going to come down and see you soon And because uh, we we got to do some Helix talk as well, too, and I want to see what your rig sounds like. Keith is here. Keith, holy cow, that video you shared in, in the Helix group that we are just talking about, um, with some of the EVH presets. I'm not sure if it was my free ones that I put on, on Custom Tone or if it was um, the Marketplace or what, but whatever. Or I, I don't know which ones they were, but they sounded, you sounded good. Really good. Wow, that was amazing. Mark Dillon is here as well too. Okay, let's go over and let's play something else here for a second. Let's try. What can we try that's going to be kind of fun here? Let's go back over to, let me see here. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna try a little bit of clean. This is that one I like to play. I know. I know Brad likes this song. Um, 
bucket full of balls says i really enjoy your playing and style and tone thank you i appreciate that and quentin james yorkville canadian yes for sure and yorkville i assume jason and how he can correct me on this isn't yorkville owned pretty much now by um um long mcquade i believe at least distributed by but i think they actually own the company do they not i feel bad if i'm incorrect on that but a good product for sure and uh trainer right too are they still are they still producing trainer or distributing which is very very cool as well so here we go. We're going to give a little bit of a shot of Pass You By. And this is uh, using my old... This one is available on Custom Tone. It's a free preset, free. Um, and it's a three-channel preset, which I like, clean, distorted, and uh, kind of lead, which would reflect kind of what I we used to run in this rig here, give that kind of thing. And we'll try it two ways tonight. We're going to try it down in E-flat, and then we're going to try it with a different singer, which has a slightly different dynamic. Uh, in just a moment as well, too. I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock as well, too. I don't want to go too, too late. We started a bit late today, too, so we're, we're kind of doing okay so far. All right, get ready for Pass You By, and this is fun. I really like my solo in this one. It's kindergarten simple. I mean, really simple. Um, but some of the players here in the chat, like the you know the Jasons and, and Quentin and you know a lot of other players, too. I'm not trying to center anybody out. R2 and R3, R2, I'm sure you'll agree sometimes a slow solo if you think it out, can be a little bit nicer than kind of a crazy, crazy thing. And that's kind of what I like about this one. There's one particular spot where there's some counter melodies to the vocal that I like. So I'm going to shut up. And we'll just try to work it out. Here it goes. Where did all this time go? I know that's gonna come. 
Brad Miller likes that one. I like to play that one for Brad as well, too. And I'll play it again tonight before we wrap up in a different tuning with a different singer, which has a whole different dynamic and a whole different guitar as well, too. And Nocturnal Butterfly just shared um, the link to Marketplace, which is very, very cool. And I don't want to take full credit for this as well, too. I do have some presets available on Line 6 Marketplace for both Line 6 Helix, uh, HX Stomp, and uh, HX Effects. But Jason has a wealth of presets there as well, too. I, I don't know how many, but at least probably between 8 and 10 different packages. So check out Jason's as well, too. You can filter by user on the side once you get there. And if you're looking for IRs, you can purchase impulse responses. You can buy preset packages and that. So I'm on there. A bunch of great people. But Jason has a lot of stuff. So be sure to check out his, too, please, while you're there. Um, so Jason says, uh, what presets am I playing? So sorry if I tune in late. This is my old one, Jason. This is called Eric Triple, and it is on Custom Tone. This is a freebie that people can have. Uh, it's up there. I may have kind of changed a couple things, just like not major. You know how we're always tweaking our presets, right? Um, nothing's really changed much. Uh, maybe I should always update that one up on Custom Tone. But it's called Eric Triple for the most part. That's all I'm playing. Probably all I'm going to play tonight is that one. I might play my Boston's Pizza just because I really like the tone of that one using the Angle Meteor um, amplifier. And I really like it with my Variax because it seems like it has more of a lower output pickup and really works. Even though they claim it's a higher output pickup, my ears hears a lower output pickup and it works really nice with it. Zach Thong is here. Uh, Andreas Hensler is here. Such a great song. Thank you. Keith, uh, says, uh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you want to hear, you want to hear a nasty fair warning Brown sound? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> ready for it. Okay. Well, Brown, we, we got some Brown here. Hmm. This I was not prepared for. Uh, and Jason, thank you. You're, you're the, you're a great friend, buddy. And you're always so compliment complimentary and i appreciate you're inspiring appreciate it and no problem man you know i'm honored to be sitting on that website next to you even in your pr digital presence is a real honor so thank you sir uh and nocturnal says yeah the song moves me it is a moving uh song for sure right i i like it it's basically what that song is all about in my in my mind uh when i wrote that song was okay you could be a you could be a child you could be a teenager uh, in your you know your, your mid midlife crisis or on your deathbed don't let your life pass you by right you know be thankful for what you've had be thankful for what you've got coming ahead of you because yeah, in a blink of an eye your life will pass you by and it's a very sentimental uh song and uh, i do get very emotional every time i play it it's just uh it's because I, I feel it i really do feel it. and that's what kind of music should do is you should feel music and i find that song you can kind of feel it right so, um, <laughs> Jason says it would sound better if I put 50 metals on pedals on it. Yeah, we, I, I could try that. I could try that. There you go. Um, let's go over and see if we can find something with some brown sound. All right. Oh boy. So Howie, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to send you hate mail after because you don't know what's coming after I play this, but I love you, buddy. I do. I really do. All right, let's go find some brownish tunes. And I guess we'd have to do something else. Let's go here. Let's go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Let's just see. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to turn the speakers up just a little tiny bit so I can actually hear. See what we can do here. One second. All right. Let's go here. And I was, that was very quiet for me here, what I was hearing. So I'm just hearing basically slight amplification because I don't want it to feed back to this microphone. All right. We'll do it. We'll do our best. Um, guitar video stuff. That's not it. Bear with me. I'm sorry. Here it is. All right. We're going to give this a try. All right. Godspeed. I'm probably not 100% in tune with it because Eddie Tunes out of tune slightly on this we'll talk about that as a matter of fact when chad husky comes on the show to do the very axe tutorials he's gonna uh he has some tunings i've sent him he's already created them i already have the preset to put in your very axe if you have a line six very axe how to play it exactly like eddie van halen's tuning where several of his uh, strings he actually detunes on purpose uh, especially for running with the devil which we're going to play here in a second and i did not rehearse this tonight so godspeed 
and I take what comes my way and uh, how he gets all the blame for it. All right, so there you go. That's your fault, Howie, if I messed up on that one. You called it. <laughs> but since how we're there, we can probably try one more. Uh, let me see. Let's scroll back down. Uh, do you place a noise key between each pedal? That's cool. And Quentin's asking Jason some uh, tips on Helix, stuff like that. Uh, let me see here. Cascading gain. That's a big thing about Eddie Van Halen. It's cascading gain. Next, 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 next. Uh, very, very cool. Um just typing back to Nocturnal here. My beautiful assistant, producer, all that stuff. Sounds great, Jason. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. You know which ones these are. I'm not even going to plug them at the moment because I don't want to be doing anything other than having fun right now. A Scream Girl, you're the Shiznat Shazam, Howie's wife. Oh, there you go. I should have known who that was. I should, why the hell did I not know that? Jesus, I feel so bad. Great. Now I know the name with the, the handle. Very, very nice. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Okay, there you go, Howie. I appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it. Okay, so let's jump over. Now, I don't know. It's I used to cover Unchained all the time. Oh, you know what? I have Unchained right here. I don't know the solo that well anymore. 
and I'm going to get flamed for this anyways, but you know what? I really don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I don't care how bad people say I suck. You know, I really don't, but I'm having fun with it. The mojo is here tonight and we're going to play it. And I think this works for that one as well too. Okay, we got it. All right, let's have some fun. All right, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to wing it. All right. Oh, okay. Brad Miller says, miss that preset. Are you using, um, I don't, you know what? F fuck it. It's a, it's a Pasadena complete preset package. It's on, it's the one, Brad, it's the one that you beta tested. That's the one I'm just using right now. The one earlier, which was all the clean, uh, dirty, and, um, uh, you know, the, the three channel one was called the Eric Triple, which is on Custom Tone, which is a freebie. Go grab it. You probably already have it. All right, here we go. So we're going to do some more Van Halen. And what the hell, right? Here it goes.
right. Well, that was to be expected. I, I, I butchered some. I butchered a lot, but we got some. All right. We'll try one more just because we're, we're, we're dancing with fire. We're playing with fire right now. Let's try another one. And you know what? Flame away. It's all good. All right. Here we go. We're going to try one more. We got it. Where is it at? Where is that? Where is that? Guitar general stuff? Is this it? There we go. All right. We'll try one more. There we go. That I'm sweating like crazy now. That's pretty cool. So that's all I'm going to play of those guys. <laughs> Copyright dope, as we says. All right, let's go back. We're going to switch guitars now. We're going to grab... Actually, hang on a sec. What can I do before I switch guitars? Real quick here. We're going to wrap up sometime in the very near vicinity. So that's those presets. They are what they are. I enjoy them. 
They bring some happiness to me. What can we play here? We pretty much played everything off of the 5210 album, but here's what we can do. We're going to play a song called uh, Fly. I love this song. I'm going to go back to that Eric Triple preset that we were talking about earlier. Go way back. It's kind of got, there we go, got it. Lots of clean, lots of all kinds of cool stuff on it. I'm going to play Fly, and then we're going to drop a couple other tunes into the mix. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> all right, here goes Fly. Come into my circle. 
question i saw pop up in the very back there what was it uh damp taco lover what gear is being used now to get this incredible sound this is 100 percent line 6 helix rack there you go um let me see here 
And let me see here. It's too high on my mix. I gotta fix that. Okay. Let me see here. Um, bucket full of balls because of your channel. Um, let me see here. I recently took the plunge on a stomp, planning on ABC switch with three amps and trying to wing some judo on myself. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. I think you'll do fine. Please post when you get some stuff up there. I want to see what you can do with it for sure. Let me see here. Uh, I want to see what you can do with Stomp for sure. It's an amazing, amazing product. Let me see here. Who else did I miss here? Pruitt Fade. Pruitt Fade. Hi, I'm new. Nice to see you. you Got to be careful reading names. Sometimes I get read new names and uh, they can be tricky in more ways than one. Let me see here. Uh, Quentin James is having some fun in the chat, as always. We'd love to have Quentin James in the chat. I'm going to see if I have one more, one or two more songs I can do down in detuning. I want to grab a couple of the guitars here. Let me see. I think I'll probably maybe even call it quits with those tunings. Let's grab this. Let's mute this for a second. I'm going to mute my helix so I don't want to make a string pop here. All right. And now we're going to grab Variax. Variax number one, we should say. All right. What we're going to do here in a second is we're going to play some acoustic guitar for you. I'm going to show you what some of this can do. This is actually, let's switch cameras for a sec. Okay, so I'm using now in this case the Line 6 Shuriken Variax SR250. I love this guitar. One pickup deal, but it's got all the toys. And I'm going to switch over to one of my acoustic presets that I wrote called Big Martini. And I've got it in multiple tunings as well too, so let's go find that one first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my volume up here just a little tiny, tiny bit. So I can hear a little bit. Richard Poole is here as well. Good morning, early from the UK. Quentin James, how do you like your action? Do you hit it hard? My action on the guitar is just stupid low to the point of like buzzing out, almost like almost buzzing on open strings. Um, so I have crazy low action. Um, and even this guitar right now, I've got a fret buzz on the first fret, which I've got to fix. I've got a little too low, but I keep my action quite, quite low. And I do attack pretty hard on the strings as well, too. I should probably come up a little higher because I do have a pretty heavy attack on the strings. Can I roll the volume up just a little bit? Not super loud. Just want to see what we got here. What? Hang on. Oh, that's the wrong one. We want to go to... One sec. Where was it here? Big Martini. Let's go back. There it is. Okay. So this one is called Big Martini, written after kind of a simulating a Martin guitar. But you know all these copyright things where you want to try to simulate a different name. And I'm going to shut my microphone off in a second. I'm just going to play some passages. And I'm going to show you everything from standard tuning to a half step down, one step down, and two steps down. I'm just going to point like this when I'm going down to a different tuning so you get an idea of what this thing can do. Hooked up through Helix. I'm not using any of the controls in the Variax itself. I'm doing all my tunings through, uh, through Helix sending the information back to Variax and back and forth. So let's have some fun with this for a quick second. We'll play a couple more songs and we'll wrap up soon.
All right, so I got a little carried away on that one. That's a little bit, uh, it's, it's fun when you get playing with this very act stuff. Very, very nice. <laughs> Settle down there. All right, we're going to jump back over to that clean preset that we we're doing just a minute ago. Um, no, how are we going to do this now? Oh, I know. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to go back to that triple, Eric triple preset. Should have this. All right, we're clean. We're going to play that same song, Pass You By, that we did earlier with a new singer in the key standard key and it's got a much different dynamic we're gonna give that a try right here we go with that one and i think it sounds a little nicer then we're gonna rock up with a song called loaded gun all right here we go godspeed i just saw i did see his name fart i killed noobs i love seeing him in the chat i just want to say his name he bought some of my presets thank you so much just cool to see you here i saw quentin mention his name and i wouldn't have seen his name if quentin didn't say it thank you man love to see you here you are all appreciated
Uh, Scott was just taken off. I think it was. Was it Scott that was taken off? Um, someone was taken. Scott McLean was taken off. Thanks so much for jumping in. I'm sure you're gone now, but thank you very, very much. But two more songs. We're going to wrap up. Someone asked a very, very question. Defcon Clark says, "I'm curious. How do you like the Variax? This Variax compared to the 89F?" And it's a very good question. I'm glad you asked that because I'm going to grab that guitar next. That's probably going to be the last two songs I'm going to play with that guitar. I think overall, I like playing this guitar better just because I like the ebony fretboard, the scale, like the same scale, 24 fret guitar. Um, but I just really, really like this one. But we're going to grab literally uh, <laughs> the other one here. I'm going to mention a thank you here. And we're going to grab the 89F, which is stands for Floyd Rose. We're going to grab that one right now. And the reason why I want to grab this guitar for two reasons. It's tuned to 440, which I normally don't tune to. Uh, let's mute that helix. And we're going to play a song here. We're going to attempt to play a song. This one always is kind of dedicated to Jason Wade, but also goes out to my good friend James in Ottawa as well, too. A song I wrote, probably probably my best song I think I've ever written. Um, it's called The Power. It was, for an it was for a Guitar Wars contest I went in back in 1990, and I eventually won a really good, really cool guitar. This guy... This became the prize, the Yamaha Pacifica 921. Nice, nice guitar. It's probably slightly, slightly out of tune. Actually, it's not. It's perfectly in tune, actually, at 440, but a beautiful guitar. And it, this song that I'm going to play right now uh, led me to win this guitar, which is very cool. So we're going to play this song that got me there. And this was recorded on a, yeah, Quentin says, love the color. It's a perloid, beautiful, beautiful color. I love the guitar. It plays like a million bucks. Um, so we're going to play this one, and it's tricky. It's one of the hardest songs I've ever done. This is, you, when you're listening to this, you're going to hear that I had a lot of Joe Satriani influences in my life. And there's a, kind of um, yeah, Blood Red is right. Definitely Clark says Blood Red. This is the color in that one. I'm doing some tapping like this. I'm going to roll my volume up for a quick second, just a little tiny bit, because I can't go louder. I'm going to feedback really bad through the microphone. Yeah, I'm going to be in a clean. I dropped another guitar pick. I'm dropping picks left and right tonight. I better get that because... One second. Because I only put so many on the desk. I mean, I've got a whole bunch in here. Either that or it's mouse poison or something. All right, so let's try this. Where's my sound? Oh, I'm still muted. There we go. <laughs> There's a section in here, you know, kind of like Joe Satriani where he does one of these things, right? Right, like that? I do that kind of similar in here, and I'm probably going to mess it up tonight. And then, uh, so you'll get it. So it's a really tricky song. I kind of put everything plus the kitchen sink into the song. No arpeggios or anything like that, but it's a fun, fun song. And keep in mind, the backing tracks are all keyboard, like a Yamaha DX7. This was all recorded on a Tascam, uh, you know, Porta Studio 244 or something like that. So uh, we're going to give this a try and see how it goes. And then we'll play one other song, and we'll wrap up for the night because that's the last song I'm going to play. All right, here we go. Here comes the power.
there we have it. Let's jump back over to this screen, and we're going to wrap up with a couple notes on the show. I'm going to pull out the wireless transmitter I'm using the Line 6 Relay G10. Love this thing. On the other Variax, which is so cool with, with the Helix, I'm using two kind of two inputs. I'm using this one for a couple guitars, and I'm using the VDI, the Variax cable as well too, so I can kind of have a couple guitars running at the Helix at the same time and just switch guitars, which I love. One second. Put that baby down. Okay, so let's go back to just a couple minutes through the chat backwards, and then we are going to wrap up. I'm sweating like a, I'm sweating like really bad. I'm not sure what the cliche is. I'm just sweating very bad. Oh, I'm gonna have to wash this shirt. I just washed it just for the show tonight. Uh, Quentin says Sylvester is sitting on his head, on top of my laptop, banging his head. Defcon Clark at 22 is like a parked car. Sometimes, <laughs> oh, you're never gonna let that one go, are you? I ran out and saved somebody from a parked car. Oh, Defcon's always gonna get me on that one. Uh, Rennie D guitar, great work. I love the guitar sound. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you so very, very much. Um, and Quentin says, James Tyler made. Yes, James Tyler very acts on that one, Quentin. I really like it. It's nice. Really, really nice. I was going to tune that one down to um, to uh, half step down like I do on my other guitars, but there's really no need with very acts. So I'm keeping it there. But what I am doing is I'm going to downgrade. Well, I shouldn't say downgrade. I'm going to go down a gauge and I guess I'm down gauge. There you go, down gauge. I'm going down from 10s to 9 to 42 on that. And I was always worried about with the Variax technology. I thought you had to have thicker strings for the, uh, the piezos to really accept the, the, the string vibrations and translate into the electronics. You really you don't. It's arguable either way. And I've put 9s on the Shuriken that you saw me playing there a few minutes ago, the black kind of stealthy looking guitar, and it sounds fine in Variax mode. So I'm going down to 9s where I'm very comfortable. Uh, let me see if I miss anything else. Fart, I Kill Noob says it sounds amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Really, really do. So a couple things coming up on the show. Uh, Friday night, got a fun show on the EVH side of things. I've got Jim uh, Jim Reed from Stuart Guitars. He's the CEO of Stuart Guitar Company. We haven't had him on the show for, for probably a few months. One of the sponsors of the show, we're going to talk about what's new in travel guitars and things with that. It's really, really cool. I kind of put a, a teaser out on Facebook and social media today showing how you can have this ultimate kind of travel rig in a bag no much bigger than a you know when the pizza delivery guy comes to your house, guy or girl, uh, brings a pizza to your home, that, that warmer bag that they bring to the house with the pizza in it. It's pretty much this guitar will fold down inside a real full-size guitar, fits inside that thing. Sticking in it like a Line 6 uh, HX stomp, guitar cable, and whatever. You, that, and it fits right there. You can put it under your seat and under the aircraft or when you're flying, you, you know, and also in overhead. And you never have to check your guitar. You could have a rig to show up on a, you know, a gig, whatever, a fill-in gig, a fly date, whatever. But that's just one of many things we're going to talk about with him. And then on Sunday, I'm really excited about this. Um, when I was getting into Line 6 Helix, when I was trying to consume all these videos out there, there's a million out there trying to consume as much knowledge as I could because I had one coming and I wanted to learn it. Uh, Sean Halley uh, used to work for Line 6, you know, some years ago. Uh, he's left now and gone on to other companies, but he's uh, well known for what he knows about Helix. He's got a brand new album out and it's it's to die for. I'm going to try and um, uh, play some snippets if I can or we'll get him to play some snippets on the show, whatever we can play, you know, a little without copyright issues. It's beautiful, beautiful music. Um, it's uh, he's got Oz Noy on the record as well too. Some phenomenal musicians, but it, Sean himself is is just an amazing, gifted musician. We're going to talk about digital modeling and all that kind of thing where we are today and and uh, and the technology like that kind of stuff. Lots of fun, and then we should be nailing back down a date probably the following week. But I got to double check on that. Uh, Alex Skolnick will be back as well too because we had him scheduled about a month back. And when we had all those internet problems, we had to bump him like basically almost 30, 40 minutes before airtime because we lost our internet connection thanks to our provider. But all is good that way. So Alex Skolnick is back uh, shortly. I'll confirm that date. He was just in our neck of the woods two hours away from us um, this past weekend at Cosmo Music Fest. Some of our friends here in the chat, or at least some of our regular viewers, got to see uh, him up there, which is very, very cool. So... Lots of good stuff coming. Uh, some changes coming to the show, which we'll try to talk about in the, as soon as we possibly can. Uh, fun stuff. Um, <laughs> nice comments. I love it. And uh, Renny says, I like to play with the open D tune. Me too. I, I sure do. Farty Kill Noobs, Night from Cowtown. Listen, thank you so very much. I appreciate your time on this Wednesday evening. And um, hey, just a little tip. If you haven't, if you're looking for some good shows on TV to check out, kind of depressing, but good at the same time. Junior and I started watching the uh, HBO special, the uh, five uh, uh, five episode documentary on Chernobyl, 
We only watched episode uh, up to episode two tonight, but holy cow, wow, it's good. Yeah, I re- well recommended. If you get a chance to check that out, check it out. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you this Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific right here. And then again over on Helix Hour, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific over on the Helix Hour. That kind of stuff. Same channel, different shows, all kinds of fun stuff. Same mustache. See you real soon. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate tonight. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to change my shirt and uh, maybe ring out the hair. (laughs) See you soon. Cheers. Hey, you're still here? Eric Jr. here, reminding you to check out our full lineup of quality merch. Available right now in the Broadstash Boutique. Quality products and fast shipping. Visit Broadstash.com today. I am now on Patreon. If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash evhgeartv. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric Hansen, Looking Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com. Thank you.